Hello and welcome to another episode of Azure Every Day. My name is Joe Abbott. I'm a senior consultant here at Pragmatic Works. And today I'm going to do a little something different with you. Uh, we're going to have pro tip time with Joe Abbott. So today I'd like to talk about those of you who are using Azure uh, Data Factory as well as Azure Logic Apps. And so I was recently at a client and they were in particular using Azure Logic Apps to trigger an Azure Data Factory pipeline. And there has been a, a new development in that connector in Logic Apps. Uh, you can actually add the parameter right inside that, that connector itself, which is an outstanding feature. Previously, you actually had to hard code that in the JSON. Uh, so that has been moved. So let's, uh, let's get right to it and uh, do pro tip with Joe Abbott. Let's jump into the Azure portal. So as you can see, I got a lot going on here, but let's go into my Logic Apps. And I've got two Logic Apps set up here. And so I'm going to go into this Logic App. I'm going to go in here and edit this. And then we're actually going to add a new step. And then Azure Data Factory is right here. And what we want to do is we want to create a pipeline run. And then I've got to go and fill out my criteria. So it's going to load up my subscription. I've got a resource group that it's already sitting and waiting for me. And then I gave these really good names so that I would know which one I needed for this demo. So trigger me from Logic Apps Data Factory and the trigger me from Logic Apps pipeline name. So the other thing that you'll see here is this add new parameter. So if we click on this drop down, you can actually click on this little button here to add parameters. And then if you click off of that screen, you're now going to have this little section right here called parameters. So if we wanted to, we could go in here. When I click on this, it's going to show me some dynamic content. So I could go over here and click this, add my parameter. So my schedule code is right there. I can go out here and click save. And that's pretty much it but not quite it. So there's one other piece of this. This actually will work there. Obviously it's saved, there were no issues. One thing that this will not do is it will not trigger that pipeline with that parameter. And I wanna show you why. So basically what needs to happen here is, is we want to, to not use just this parameter. We actually have to give it a key value pair. So let's go back out to the logic app that I've got out here. One that is complete. And so it's gonna look very similar. But let's take a look at this. So ultimately, the, the little caveat and the pro tip today is essentially you have to have a key value a pair here. And so in the JSON format, you're going to have to have this, this bracket brace and, and then the, uh, the curly bracket. And then you'll have to have the schedule code so that ADF or Azure Data Factory knows what you're passing to it. And then you can go ahead and put your dynamic content in for your schedule code and then close it out. So hopefully that was helpful to you. I ran into a few issues with this when I first fired this up, but this, this actually got me going and, and worked quite, quite well. So if you have any questions, comments, or would like to chat with us further, make sure you hit that link below, uh, post in the comments, uh, everything, uh, everything Azure every day. So thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Cheers.